Hey baseball fans, how's it going? Hayden here. And in today's video, I'll be going over my general predictions for the 2021 season for Michael Conforto. So, let's get right into it. So, Michael Conforto had a stellar breakout 60-game season. It is most likely Conforto has finally put it all together. However, the 2021 season is a whole new season for the Mets starting right fielder, who will try to use his 2020 success to get him better. Getting into Conforto's 2020 stats, they're great, and it's a shame it wasn't a shortened season because more games played for Scooter would have made his stats drive much farther in the books. Conforto had the following 322, 412, 515, and 917 slash line over the season, as well as a 2.3 war, 322 batting average, OPS of 927, on base percentage of 412, 9 home runs, 31 RBIs, 3 stolen bases, 65 hits, and only 202 at-bats. Another reason for Conforto's success in 2020 was due to his overall launch angle and exit velocity compared to prior seasons. The percentage of 100 mile per hour fly balls he hit increased by almost 2% in 2020. Also to add, the average exit velocity on his top 5% hard hit balls in the air also increased over 1 mile per hour. Combining both of these with an 11 barrel rate in 2020 suggests he will maintain his power and production in 2021. This is very similar to Michael Conforto's 2017 season when he made the NL All-Star team in Miami, but unfortunately his season got cut in half due to an injury. But I'm safe to say his mechanics are back in store and better than ever. Heading into the overall predictions with Michael Conforto are his stats to start off. I predict Conforto will have a batting average of 266, an OPS of 840, 79 walks, a slugging percentage of 478, 31 homers, 89 RBIs, 7 stolen bases, with 551 at-bats. Conforto will have plenty of counting stat opportunities with the Mets lineup getting much stronger. Second up on today's predictions, I have Conforto taking a trip to Atlanta for the Summer Classic, also known as the All-Star Game. The National League outfield is very compact and deep with talent, but it will be a battle every year as it usually is. Which outfielders could make the team is the question. The all-star team is based on popularity nowadays most likely, as we've seen. And Conforto can put the numbers he did in 2020, well, it shouldn't be a problem for him. And to get the plane ticket to Atlanta, it'll be a piece of cake hopefully for a second All-Star game. I don't believe he will be a starter, but he could definitely be a third or fourth alternate. Third up on today's predictions, I have Conforto finishing in the top five of the NL MVP at the end of the season. It's very complex to predict who will be the AL and NL MVP, as well as other big awards to the prior this season, as well as the beginning of the season, but Conforto played in 2020, and what he is capable of is quite easy to see how hot Conforto can be. We have many NL MVP potentials on this list. Some names may include Cody Bellinger, Mookie Betts, both from the Dodgers, Freddie Freeman from the Braves, Fernando Tatis Jr. from the Padres, and Juan Soto from the Washington Nationals. We could see majority of these guys on here are young studs. But Conforto is just as talented as those guys, I personally believe, and I think he can manage to obtain some MVP votes if he continues to repeat 2020 in 162 games. My final prediction for today is that Michael Conforto will, well, he'll be getting his jersey ripped off. Yes, that's right. He will hit a walk-off homer in a heavy-needed game, I personally believe. This will help boost his morale mentally as well as the fans' morale to help fight for postseason baseball, especially during that big spread in August and September, which I'm sure baseball fans, especially Mets fans, we are used to this from 2019, and boy, it is a ride. Michael Conforto is in his prime, and it's looking great so far. All expectations in the past, he's proven. Conforto is finding himself and has plenty of more time to show off. 
Conforto is also one of the five guys left on the Mets roster who played in the 2015 World Series with them. So I'd love to see him wearing a postseason baseball patch on the side of his jersey going ahead. Conforto should be locked down up to a long-term extension, like now. Just gotta make sure the front office is aware. But that's a whole other video on his contract, but there's no worries in my head over that. Alrighty, and that is the end of this video. Please make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. As well as let me know in the comments, do you agree with these stats and predictions? And also, if you can name the four other players who played with the Mets in the 2015 World Series and are still on the team today, please comment them. little trivia for you right there. Till next time, baseball fans, see ya.